بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم نحمده ونصلي على رسوله الكريم so alhamdulillah in the previous lessons and the previous videos we have been covering the dhamir mansub but i want to now expand slightly and explain a bit more detail so we have dhamair plural of dhamir and we said there are three types of dhamir because dhamir don't they more the mabni they don't change themselves but for each state, for the marfu state, for the mansub state and the majru state, for each separate state, we need to have a different set of pronouns. So you have zamir marfu, zamir mansub and zamir majru. Then we then zamir marfu, we said you have zamir of mubtada, you have the zamir of the fa'il, and the zamir of the fa'il can either be mustatir, hidden inside, huwa and here, or it can be baris, where you can actually see it at the end of the verb, like daraba, darabu, yadribani, yadribuna, etc. And then we also said, we have the ism of kana. This is also a marfu. Now we were discussing the zamir mansub, and we said zamir mansub can be the zamir maf'ul bihi, or it can also be the zamir of inna. Yes? The, the ism of inna. So the zamir of mubtara was this, huwa huma hum hiya huma hunna. Until the end, you've learned this well. Then we said zamir fa'il. These are mustatir in here. In these forms, the zamir is mustatir. Yes, you can't see any form at the end of the verb. And apart from these, all of the rest are uh, baris. You have an alif, wow, at the end. Okay, you follow? Yes. Okay. Then we said kana, same thing. You have zamir mustatir in kana, and you have zamir baris in kana. Yes? Okay. Okay. Then we said you have the ism, we have the zamir. This is what it looks like, the zamir, the mansub zamir. But it doesn't come on its own. It either has to come joint to a, a fail or joint to the particle inna. Yes, we've done all of this so far. Now, what we want to have a look at is if we look at the fa'il zamir again. We said, for example, we had the word sami'na. So, sami'na means what? We heard. Okay? Now, in here, the na is the what? Fa'il. What is the na? It is the fa'il. Okay? The na is the fa'il. Now the na is attached to the verb. So anything attached, and attaching is called ittasala yattasilu ittisalan, to attach. So here, the zamir marfu is attached to the verb. And in ana zaidun, this is the mubtada, this is on its own. The word ana is not joined. So the mubtada pronoun, doesn't join to anything, it is detached. So when you have these marfu pronouns, there were two types. The one that becomes a fa'il was attached. It was what? Mutasilun, attached. And then the mubtara pronoun was detached. It, it came independently, it wasn't joined to anything. That's called what? Munfasilun. What's it called? Munfasilun. Understood? Now, the thing in this marfu pronouns is that the zamir mutasil is only for fa'il and the zamir munfasil is only for the mubtada. Now, when we come to the mansub pronouns, the same pronoun is used for maf'ul bihi and the same pronoun is also used for the ism of inna. Yes? Now, these, the examples we've studied so far, samitu I heard him or uh, inna who indeed he is something. In this, what happens is that the pronoun always comes attached, the maf'ul bihi pronoun and the inna, ism of inna, they always come muttasil. Muttasil, they always come joint. They come joint to either the verb or they come joint to inna. However, there are some places, some scenarios and some situations where we will need to have the zamir mansub not joint to the verb, separated from the verb. We will discuss those shortly. So when we have this situation where we need the this pronoun to be on its own individually, then what do we do? We have to make the zamir mansub, which was joint, deta which was attached, sorry, which was attached to the verb or attached to inna. We need to detach it and make it munfasil. Yes. So how do we make it munfasil? It's very easy. You get the same zamir, ku huma hum ha huma hunna, which was joint to the verb, and you basically get some iya. Alif and Ya. So E, Ya. Do you understand? And if you, if you want to uh, uh, make a little code in your mind, 
Just think of these eyes. I am not I should have got a, a thing. See if you can guess what I'm drawing. I'm not even gonna tell you I'm embarrass myself. Okay. <laughs> think of the crutch. And when a person is, when a person is what? He can't walk properly. So think of this as one crutch and another crutch is on crutches. Because why the Zamir is so weak, the who's Amir is so weak, it can't walk on its own. So it has an alif, one crutch on this side, and one crutch on this side, and then it has it uses the crutches to survive, to walk. So the, the Zamir, the who's Amir is so it's so dependent on it's so weak, it has to come with the verb. It has to come with inna. And if you want to bring it on its own, it can't walk on its own. It has to bring what? The crutches of iya. So alif is one one thing, and that's another crutch, two of them. And then this supports the who. There's no meaning, nothing. It just supports the who, who maha whom, and it allows it to stand on its own. If you don't have iya, the, the, the mansur pronoun is so weak. And you know why it's so weak? Shall I tell you why it's so weak? Because the grammarians always use the example, daraba zaidun amran. What's amran becoming in this example? The maf'ul bihi. So, so Zaid hit Amr so much that the maf'ul bihi is so weak when it becomes a pronoun, it can't stand on its own. Yes, I can make my story up. So Daraba Zaid and Zaid hit Amr so much that the maf'ul bihi became so weak. So when you have a pronoun, Zamir maf'ul bihi, it can't come on its own. It has to come with the verb attached or it has to take help from inna. And if you want it to stand on its own, you have to bring crutches and use iya to make the Zamir stand on its own. When you have these crutches, then you can have iyahu, iyahuma, iyahum. Now the whom can use iya to lean and support against. Do you understand? Yes? Everybody following me? Yes? Any questions? Muhammad, Ahmad, Hamad, Ibrahim? If you have a question, you have to, uh, you have to say, I can't read at the moment. Okay? So we'll, yes? Okay. Now, yes, so we understood the Zamir Mansu, the Mansu pronoun, they always come joint, hu, huma, hum. If you want to detach it, you put the, the crutches on and you say, iyahu, iyahu, ma, iyahu. Now the question arises, where would you want, where would you want the Zamir Mansu on its own? Let's take one example. Innahum mu'minun. What does innahum mu'minun mean? Indeed they are what? Indeed they are believers. Innahum mu'minun. Indeed they are believers. Innahum mu'minun. Now, what's the tarqib of this? Who can the tarqib of this? What would it be? Quickly go through with me. Anybody? Inna is harfun. Mushabbahun. Bil fa'li. Whom is? Why is it going to be that? Ismu inna. And mu'minu become? Khabaru inna. Okay? Yes? Which state, what state is this zamir in? What state is it in? Marfu, mansub, or majroor? It's mansub state. Now, if I want to make a harful at and I say, okay, indeed they are believers, but I want to say, indeed they and we, or they and you. I put harful jar wow here. What does you mean? The pronoun you. Antum. Would that be correct if I say antum? What state, what kind of zamir is antum? This is a marfu pronoun. And what state is the ism of inna going to be in? So you can't have antum. What's the mansu form of antum? Kum. Yes? So we have here, kum. Inna hum wa kum. But can kum, is kum strong enough to stand on its own? So you have to say, iya kum. You have to use zamir mansu, the munfasil form, the separated form. Because it's not attached to a noun, to a fail, nor inna. So you would say, inna hum wa iya kum. Now this now, iya kum is now used as a ma'tuf on a mansu word. So one place where you would need to have a zamir mansu munfasil is where this becomes ma'tuf on another mansub word. If you have a ma'tuf, is a zamir in a mansub slot, then you have to use iyakum. So, example, a tarqib of this would be what? Harfu mushabbuhun bil fail. And I got here hunna. Hum hunna al matab. Yes? This becomes the ma'tuf alay. The ismu inna 
harfu ad iyyakum kama ma'tuf and this has to be iyyakum it can't be antum etc because this is a mansub slot so the mansub form of the pronoun has to be used which is iyyakum and it can't be kum on its own because kum doesn't stand by itself it needs to have iya to support it everybody following that yes okay another example I saw you and him or I saw you and her what would it be Ra'aytuka Then you put the harful at Wow And ahim What would him be in Arabic? If it was a mubtana It would be huwa But it's a mansub slot So it has to be hu But you can't have hu on its own You have to have Iyahu So ra'aytuka wa iyahu I saw you and him Understood? Everybody following? So ra'aytu Is fail fa'il Maf'oolun bihi and the ka is a ma'tuf alay and wa iyahu harfu at and ma'tuf and you have to use the mansub form because it's a mansub slot and you have to use a munfasil a separated form because ma'tuf is separated it exists on its own there's no inna to, to support it nor is there fell to support it understood? yes another place or another scenario where we would need to use the zamir mansub is when you have when you want to bring a fronted muf'ul bihi Remember we done before very early on that When you front something, what does it do? It creates emphasis So when we say iyaka na'bud We don't have to say iyaka na'bud We could have said na'buduka When Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said na'buduka We worship you But that doesn't create emphasis Because the people of Makkah and the mushrikun At the time of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa They used to worship Allah And along with Allah they used to worship other things So they had no problem saying na'buduka We worship you Allah the issue was we only worship you. You used to worship Allah as a main God. And then the idols and the angels, etc. Different beliefs that these were the sub-gods and smaller gods which help us get closer to the big God. So na'buduka is not a problem. When you say iyaka na'bud. So the reason we brought iyaka here is not because we have no choice. But we changed it from na'buduka and we brought it over here. And then this creates emphasis. We fronted the maf'ul bihi. Now if you front it, if it was na'buduka, we can't say ka na'budu. Why can we not say ka na'budu? Because the zamir mansub cannot stand on its own. It must have an iya to support it. Do you understand? You got it? So it is, that's, what, that's what we translate it. We say it is you who we worship. Or you alone do we worship. And all of these translations come about because of the fronting of the maf'ul bihi, which is now in a fo pronoun form. Does this make sense? So for example, you say here, maf'oolun bihi muqaddam and fa'ilun wa fa'il, nahnu zamir mustatir inside of this. Yes, you following? Yes, let's do a few examples quickly. We've done this before, we can go through it quickly again. Ji, who wants to do this one? Ji, bismillah quickly. Ji, what does ma become? Harufu. Nafiyin. Come on, quickly. The next person. Sadaqa is a fa'il. Fa'il. How do you know the fa'il is who and not something else? Well, it's simply, is there a marfu word after the sadaqa? So that means it has to be the huwa inside of it here. Ka becomes. This becomes maful in bihi because you have wala as harfu at. Okay, so ka becomes what? Ma'tufun alay wala becomes harfu at fin and iyaya becomes ma'tuf. Translation would be? Yeah, he did not tell me nor you the truth. He did not tell me nor you the truth. G. Next one. La ta'budu illa iya. G. Translate. G. Next. La becomes what? Harfu nahyin. Ta'budu becomes what? Fa'ilu. Nahyin. Is a fa'il outside or inside? What's a fa'il? A 
file as well. Illa is it adatu hasrin or is it adatu istithna'in? Why is it adatu hasr? Yes, we have illa plus la. And iyahu becomes? Maf'ulun bihi. A translation will be? Only worship him or do not worship except him. Both ways are translating. Ji, who wants to do this one? Ji. Ji, Bismillah. Who's going to do it? Bismillah. That becomes the harfun, mushabbahun. Bil Fa'li Do you go ahead Ibrahim? Ibrahim? Ibrahim not there? Uh, Muhammad? Is Muhammad there? Did you carry on? This becomes Ismu Inna. Correct? G then? I can't hear you. You're cutting up. Lam is. You're breaking up. Lam is Lamun. Muzahlaqatun. Then? This is what? Khabaru. In yes, yeah. Th this is then. This is what the alif is. Ma'atufun alay. Aw is harfu atfin, and iyakum becomes ma'atuf. Yes. Then lam is muzahlaqa. Then ala becomes what? Jar hudan aw fi dalali mubin becomes. Are you sure? Yeah, so Allah becomes Jar, who then becomes Majru, a Majar Majru become Ma'atufun Alay, and Aw becomes Harfu Atfin Ma'atuf, and Fi Jar. Majroor and this becomes Manood and Nat. What's the translation going to be? Yeah. Indeed. Or we can say here surely. Probably better. Surely. Either we or you. Either we or you are, are, are on guidance or in clear or in clear misguidance. <coughs> Understood? Yeah. Okay, so summary again we have Dhamair, Marfu, Mansu, Majroor. Then we have Mubtara, Zamir Fa'il, Zamir Mastatir, or it can be bodies, Ism of Kana, Zamir Manful, or Ismu Inna. And these can either be that what? So the Zamir, so if you look at it here, this Zamir Fa'il or Ismu Kana are always going to be what? Muttasir or Munfasil? What are they going to be? Muttasil. And Zamir Mubtara always becomes what? Munfasil. Yes? And then these can be both. This can be both muttasil or they can be mun fasil. Understood? You got it? Any questions? Okay, let's stop here. Subhanallah wa bihamdi, subhanakallahumma wa bihamdi kawana shadu la ilaha illa anta wa nastaghfiru kawana tubu ilayka.